Australia. Basically, uh, we could broadcast uh, anywhere we wanted to, to the world uh, uh, just by selecting the antenna and the amount of power and the frequency that we used. exactly on the opposite side of the world from where I was living at the time, which was uh, in Calgary. So 12 hours away. So when I would get up 6 o'clock in the morning in Kuala Lumpur, turn on my shortwave radio to CBC, and here's my old friend Bob Oxley reading the 6 p.m. news, 6 a.m. for me in, in Southeast Asia, 6 p.m. In, uh, in Canada. And the marvel of feeling that I was there on the other side of the world, and I had a strange feeling of, I got my arms around this world. I know what uh, I know what things are going on here, and and there was just a sense of uh, some amazing connection with CBC back to Canada, and with the marvel of uh, being so far away and yet feeling so close to what was still going on here. I, I just get a little uh, warm spot in my chest as I as I think of uh, of that experience in that time. Mais c'est surtout les nouvelles internationales. C'est les nouvelles du Canada à travers le monde. Pour euh, montrer aux, aux, aux auditeurs qu'est-ce qui qu'est-ce qui se passe au Canada, quelle sorte de culture on a. Euh, euh, Où est-ce qu'on se tient au niveau de, de l'international et de notre réputation dans les différentes nations du monde et ainsi de suite? On veut faire connaître par les ondes courtes le Canada tel qu'il est. Oh, I used to listen to the shortwave radios when I was a little boy. My father was in the military and we were out in uh, posted in Germany, Baden-Baden. And I remember as a little boy, my parents would turn on uh, shortwave radio and listen to the news and stuff like that from Canada and the hockey game and stuff like that and the scores or what, what have you. And when I was in the military, we used to listen to uh, shortwave radio as well. And so it was always a way of catching up on uh, what's happening back home and you know, listening to news, even if you're out in the middle of a bush and you know, there's no way of catching your television signal or anything like that remotely similar or no internet. Everybody can afford shortly. You know, we only got what, 30%, 40% of our world that's on computers? A lot of remote areas and a lot of poor areas in the world that